Well guys, very very sad day. My phone has died. The Galaxy S3 has died. My gorgeous, gorgeous phone has died. The reason it has died is because it suffered an accident, which it was not my fault. It got wet with milk because uh, my wife had an accident in the car and I wasn't told about the accident and I put the phone like I always do in the cup holder right in the cup holder of my car to listen to my um, phone via Bluetooth and it started going crazy I was like five minutes later it started going crazy when when I take the phone out of the cup holder it was like an inch deep with um, milk so um, a couple days I dried it I did all my things you know everything you have to do for to prevent from that on water damaging and it survived for at least five days but yesterday it just didn't wake up the phone just didn't wake up I left it charging and it was completely completely dead um, really really sucks so now I had to switch to a cheap phone over here this is the Samsung transform very very slow phone this phone is running Froyo 2.2 which is very very bearable very very slow as hell coming coming from this phone to this phone very horrible experience um, the only reason I actually got this phone um, because there's a couple new phones coming up that I wanna wanna buy and I don't wanna buy another Galaxy S3 because I don't like like paying twice for the same phone I'm not that type of person I, even though I love my Galaxy S3 but it sucks I won't be able to get another Galaxy S3 because they're very expensive even used so I got this phone for $40 which is not bad and it looks very good It's in great conditions the only good thing about this phone is that it makes phone calls that's it um, browsing on this phone it's a pain so I don't even try it I tried it and it's horrible it's horrible and well and of course the only great thing about this phone that I'm using I've been using since yesterday is that Fox 5 actually works because this is running 2.2 um, Fox 5 stopped working for devices over 4.0 so it works perfectly as a hotspot so that's how I'm using my phone as a hotspot and connect it to my iPad mini so that's how I've been using it yesterday um, using my iPad mini to just um, browse the web and use Flipboard and everything and my phone this phone actually works very very great as a hotspot and I'm grateful for that uh, one thing that I want to share with you guys is that I want to have everybody's opinion is that I'm very interested in buying the Xperia Z this phone looks just stunning I love the specs of this phone uh, 13 megapixel camera uh, the screen is a 5 inch screen 1080p HD um, it also like you see right here this is the video let's go ahead and click a little bit more to the middle um, it takes video in HDR which is gorgeous this video is from Sony directly from the Sony website it takes video in HDR it has a the home button it has it right here in the side which is awesome it looks very cool it's water resistance which would actually saved me from the problem that I just had with my Galaxy S3 and it's dust resistant it looks very cool it's Sony Sony it's um, I always wanted a Sony phone but we barely ever get a good Sony phone here in the United States and I think this is gonna be the first great great Sony phone coming to the United States and rumor is it's coming by uh, by February 28th I know it's coming off offshore like in the UK oh, no, um, pre-orders already started today in the UK which is great knowing that and I think next week it comes out in Japan if I'm not mistaken I don't know but we should be getting this phone by the first week maybe of March or oh, I hope we get it on the end of February that would be awesome um, actually I, I'll take any color I'll take the black or the white another great phone that actually caught my eye is the Blackberry Z10 um, like you see over here, this is an article from PC Magazine. They are comparing the, the BlackBerry Z10 versus the Samsung Galaxy S3. And um, like you see right here, they say that this phone is nearly the same as the Galaxy S3. Everything is the same. Ident identical Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 chip. Nearly identical storage. Two phones also have the same um, Wi-Fi chip. 
uh, Bluetooth, uh, Wi-Fi 4. Point, uh, Bluetooth 4.0, and near field NFC. You know, basically it's almost the same phone, but with a smaller screen, 4.2 inch screen. But the uh, pixel per inch is 356 PPI. The um, the Galaxy S3 is 306 PPI. And the screen type of the BlackBerry is a LCD, and this is a Super AMOLED. And like you see right there, the resolution over here is higher too on the BlackBerry. Um, and I I actually like the way the BlackBerry OS works. Very very cool. I love the the fact that it's all gestures. There's no buttons in the front, and everything is gesture based. It also it also plays um, Android phone um, apps. But I wouldn't buy this phone because of the Android apps because who knows, you know, right now it supports Android apps. Google lets it run Android apps, but who knows in the future? Who knows if, if this phone actually picks up and sells very good and Google says, you know what, hell no, we're not going to let you keep using our apps and you know make an update to the player that runs this game, these Android apps, because uh, the BlackBerry is running those apps because it has like a player like an emulator like you would like the like blue stacks for a computer i don't know if you guys have blue stacks for a computer which lets you play apps from android on your pc or on your mac well this actually has something like that it plays your apps android apps in the in a player so i wouldn't be surprised if later on in the future this this phone if it actually becomes um, relevant, you know, if it actually becomes um, sells a lot and all that, and and, and at Google says, you know what, I'm, okay, you had your fun, okay, that's it. So you know, you never know, you never know. But with these companies, and you know, I'm very very interested on the on the BlackBerry Z10 because yeah, I like learning new stuff. I never owned a BlackBerry before. I did own a Trio Palm Trio before. I did own those, but never owned BlackBerry before. This is totally different from what it was back then. Totally different. Looks very, very gorgeous. I like it. I like it. And, you know, I would actually buy the white one. And this phone is, and is scheduled to release by the end of February or the beginning of, of at least um, Verizon confirmed. It, they will have it, I think, um, for $200 on March 8th, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't know um, when it's going to be released on other carriers. But that looks very, very cool. That was one of the options that I was thinking of. My other option that I have is the to wait for the Samsung Galaxy S4. I love my Galaxy S3, and I know the Galaxy S4 is going to be badass. I know that game, that phone is going to be badass. But everything we see in the streets, everything we see in the in the uh, you know in all the blogs, this is from TechRadar.phones, which is a very cool um, website, TechRadar.com for phones uh, and they have this article right here they have all the rumors there is for this phone and every every rumor is um, actually updated every time there's a new rumor they actually update this page which is very cool very nice go to this page I'm gonna put a link to the to my descriptions over here so you guys could go through this page and every rumor that comes out they are automatically updated you know and there's a lot of good rumors like this screen is this is gonna have a five inch screen um, supposedly it's gonna have the uh, the new um, Samsung screen which is unbreakable which is the one that bends um, also of course a key line pie most likely the next operating system and you know the specs uh, there's a lot of rumors on the specs it might have the new eight core model specs model chip which is amazing uh, I don't know why would you need that much power on a phone but hey if you get it why why not right um, supposedly you're gonna have it's gonna come with a, a wireless charging uh, thing like just like the Nomi, Nokia Lumia 920 it has like a charging pad uh, and you know um, this is another phone that I, I'm thinking about it but you know I'm also thinking you know I might get first the guy the, um, the Xperia Z and play with it until the Galaxy S4 comes out then um, if maybe depending on the money on the budget that I am I'm at I might buy the Galaxy S4 too and have both phones have the Galaxy S um, 4 and the Sony Xperia Z so but 
Right now, I want you guys to help me out. Uh, what would you do? Would you wait for the Galaxy S4 and ride with this phone until the Galaxy S4 comes out? Or would you wait for the Sony Xperia Z to come out? Or would you get the BlackBerry? Because the BlackBerry, honestly, I think is a very good choice. It's a very new experience. And I, I would actually give it a try. I would actually have a BlackBerry phone and an Android phone, which would be nice. Um, I would do that too, maybe if the budget is it's good later on. Um, but who knows, man? Um, and that's my dilemma right now. I was also tr also about to get the Nexus Four, but you know, it's it's unpredictable to know when you're gonna get the X Four. Uh, right now, the S Four is available at the Play Store for two four uh, not 299 or 349 for a 316 gigabytes on t-mobile i think it only works and the problem is that it, you don't really have any specific date for chipping that's what sucks you don't really know when you're going to get it chipped and um so i was going to get that but you know i don't know but i want you guys to please help me out would you get the nexus 4 would you get the um, Xperia Z? Would you actually try the BlackBerry um, Z10? Or would you wait for the Galaxy S4, which might come mid-April? Who knows? Maybe um, by the first week of May. Who knows when that's going to come out? So, guys, this was it. And it's been a very, very sad couple days with my Galaxy S3 trying to wake this thing up. It won't wake up. It sucks. <laughs> So, guys, I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you guys think about it and help me, please.